It's important because for any industry, uh, if you neglect 50% of the population, then we ha you have a problem. Uh, so from my representation perspective, it's, uh, it's, it's very important. From what women have to offer as well, a different uh, point of view on any, any matter, uh, that's, that's also extremely, extremely important. So for the aviation industry, uh, we've been lagging behind in terms in terms of uh, diversity, uh, but I'm glad to see that changing with the different initiatives that IATA is uh, is also putting in place. Uh, not only uh, 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 me being the first uh, chair, uh, female chair of the board, but also the 20, 25 by 2025 initiative, which uh, all airlines are, are working to implement as well. Uh, so hopefully down the road we see some some big changes on, on that front. Priority is to support uh, the initiatives that uh, IATA is working on, on, on the level of sustainability, uh, on the issue of safety, uh, of course diversity. Um, so uh, I'm, excite I'm excited about that and also very importantly um, putting uh, African aviation also on, on the forefront uh, given the opportunities that uh, lie within the continent. Uh, so for me, that's, that's very important uh, to put uh, African aviation on the agenda as well. Sustainability, huge, <laughs> very, very big, uh, very big uh, issue, especially on the, on the discussion around SAF. Um, the issue of supply chain challenges, which is impacting all, all airlines uh, across the board. Uh, that, we hope to see some changes on, on, on that front. Uh, safety is always is always uh, a top of the agenda uh, for uh, for airlines but i, I think uh, th those are some of the key the key issues uh, that that we're going to see towards the, uh, going through the year in terms of recovery uh, for a lot of regions uh, uh, airlines ha ha have really recovered from uh, from uh, from the pandemic uh, for some we're almost getting there with the african continent uh, we, we are seeing very strong re recovery. Uh, we hope to, by the end of this year, we will see the passenger numbers uh, back to the normal uh, 2019 levels. But uh, we still have uh, challenges uh, fr from a recovery perspective, whether it's uh, getting skilled resources, uh, that's, that's still a big issue. In infrastructure challenges as well, the issue of slots. Um, so all those uh, ATC challenges, all those are, are really um, mm -hmm. are impacting airlines. As, as we get out of this uh, uh, pandemic. I'm excited about it in terms of um, representing women uh, and showing um, the world that women have a role to play and this should not be a big deal in, in the coming years. It should just be the status quo. But I'm excited uh, to show a different uh, a different side of uh, the IAS as an organization having a woman as the chair and hoping that uh, that will continue uh, in the years to come and we see more and more women um, uh, uh, women leaders uh, uh, in airlines as well as uh, more women on the board of, uh, of IATA as well.